Hello everyone, my name is Beansprout, and today we're going to be talking about monster infighting in Doom. And now, this is something that blew people's minds back in the 90s, and everyone was very amazed at the technology used to make the AI in Classic Doom. But it's not as smart as many people believe. It was actually a coding accident, much like the Grand Theft Auto games. Just like how in Grand Theft Auto, the series only came to be because of an accident where if you bumped the police, they'd be they'd be able to chase you, and they thought it was fun, so they put it in. Monster infighting is merely just a mistake in the coding. How I believe it's meant to work is the last thing that hits the demon is what it's meant to attack. And now this system was meant so that the demons would attack the slayer, but at the same time, if a demon took damage from another demon, they'd end up fighting each other because it will attack the last thing that gave it damage. And now, taking this from the Doom fandom wiki thing, any monster that fires projectiles, imps, caco demons, revenants, hell knights, barons of hell, can be maneuvered into doing this. Lost souls, being projectiles themselves, can damage other monsters found on their attacking path. Though unlike most projectiles, lost souls can be created by pain elementals, which will still be targeted instead of the pain elemental. The reason for this is that the lost soul on its own is its own entity, so if a pain elemental hits another demon, the other demon will not attack the pain elemental, whereas it will attack the lost soul. And it's important to note that demons of the same type cannot hurt each other and the Baron and the Hell Knight, I believe, have a special coding exception where they can't hurt each other either. I'm pretty sure if a demon gets hit by a projectile that that demon can make, then it will not get hurt. Though I think with zombie soldiers, chain gunners, and possibly imps, this is not the case, whereas they can fight and others can't. And Mancubi can also attack each other, but they will not take damage from the projectiles, I believe which leaves, it, leaves them eternally fighting each other for absolutely no reason, which is kind of funny to witness. I would also like to take a minute to talk about the Archfile, who has a very weird rule to him with the whole monster inviting thing. If a monster hits the Archfile, the Archfile will retaliate almost instantly, seeing as the threshold is set to zero. Every one of these demons has a threshold, and that's why sometimes you will see a demon not attacking even if it got hit. A lot of info from this video was gathered from Sandy Pearson or John Carmack, I can't remember, like I said, from Tocino's video on monster infighting, and from the Doom monster infighting wiki. I know this isn't a very long one, but I'm glad that you watched it, and I'm glad I could tell you about this, because it's really something that interests me, and I thought I really wanted to talk about it. So, if you did enjoy the video, then give it a like, it really helps me out with the algorithm and all that kind of stuff, and if you really, really enjoyed the video, then consider subscribing. I make Doom content, not necessarily Classic Doom all the time, I do do a lot of Eternal, but Classic Doom is something that I do really like as well, so I'm planning on covering it more. And if you also haven't already, consider joining my Discord server, it's a great place to come and chat to other Doom fans and people who just like video games. Other than that, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.